hello good morning and welcome to the channel I hope you all having a good morning and I pray that everyone will, everyone will have a very productive and a very joyful day in today's video I'm going to take you through how the medicine is gonna uh, cast concrete on the pillars that is the reinforcement place the, the nine reinforcement pillars to the uh, underground water tank so today we have the steel bender here we have the carpenter here and then we have the medicine here so these are the three uh, tradesmen who are going to uh, you know make this happen today so the carpenter is over there busily working the steel bender is outside and the medicine is also outside mixing uh, the concrete so that is what we are going to do today My elderly brother, Chief Tamalna, is also very busily working. So there was a problem with this frame. The positioning of it was not right. So the carpenter is going to take off everything and then we we'll reposition it very well before we, um, we you know, attach it to the wall again and then uh, make it right so this is the concrete that they are using to uh, make the pillars you know so this is you know pure rocks and the river sand with cement but the rocks is more than the river sand and the cement because the rocks has to be Plenty such that um, so as I was explaining, the rocks is plenty because it's it's kind of you know pillar concrete. So when they say pillar concrete, the rocks has to be plenty to be able to make the pillar strong. I'm talking about the reinforcement pillars. <laughs> So the steel bender, uh, Kasule is also busily straightening up the metals for the upcoming works. I'm talking about the beams, the beam that will come on top of the uh, underground tack before they cast the top, you know, before they make the, the decking. Some few questions has popped up 
in the comment section from yesterday's uh, video. Someone asked me that will these brakes be able to withstand the water that is going to be stored in this tank? And I, I make up my mind to let the person know more about these brakes. This particular brake that I'm showing you right now is a six inches brake. So, a six inches brake. You see, here is six inches. This is six inches by nine inches by um, 18 inches. So this particular brake is not used for uh, building houses. It is actually used for building septic tanks and for building uh, the underground water uh, storage tanks. Some call it a uh, system. So usually some people, when they are going to build the underground tank, this is how they lay the bricks. They lay the bricks straight this way. But because of the size of this particular uh, uh, tank, is that, you know, the tank is so big. So we decided to rather lay the bricks this way. So when you check here, when you check here, you will see that the laying of this brick is different. It has been laid different because it has been laid flat. And that will make it strong. So yes, this particular bricks is stronger enough to withstand the, the I mean the, the water that is going to be contained here. That is the load. So yes, this bricks will be able to do it. And then moreover, remember we have these pillars at the corners and the middle. So these are all reinforcements. It, are, it is all reinforcements that is going to make this tank strong to be able to carry any kind of water that will be stored in it. So that's the answer. And then secondly, someone was also asking me to share an information about how we make our bricks in that same uh, comment section of yesterday's video. But what I'm going to say is that I will definitely give an answer to that. But when I'm, when I'm giving out my answers, I want to have uh, at least something that I use to show whilst giving my answers. So very soon we're going to make some bricks here. When we're going to make the bricks, I will take, the, uh, I will take a video of it and then just make sure that people ha understand how it takes to make bricks. I'm talking about the standard uh, bricks, uh, as some call it, uh, blocks. So that is it. Okay, so the first pillar has been casted with the concrete. As you can see how it is, it has been casted with the concrete and you know, within tomorrow or by the, by, it, by the close of the day, it will be very strong. So this is how, and this is the reason why we were framing this thing, this particular, uh, we were putting up these particular frames yesterday to be able to uh, work things out. Yeah, so thank you very much for following and I'm looking forward to sharing more about this project because the next plan will be, you know, extending these pillars to the height that I wanted, that is 15 feet uh, high, and then uh, making some metal beams on top of this wall, like from the four sides of the wall, as well as the middle here, and then the middle from this end to the other end. So when we do this, we will now put an iron mat on the top. It will be a double iron mat on the top, you know, for extra reinforcement. So once this is done and we cut the top with the concrete, then our septic tank is completed from the down part of it. And now we'll now and then we'll now move, we'll then move to the top part of the project. I told you in, in the earlier stages of this particular project that this uh, underground water tank is going to be a three-in-one. It is going to be a multi-purpose uh, tank, such so that it will have a place where people can sit at the top, and then has the last part where we can position our poly tanks to be able to 
pull water from down to the top in order for us to have pressure on our uh, washrooms. So thank you so much for following. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your wonderful comments, your wonderful ideas and thank you so much for getting the time to watch this process. And please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Please. So I say a very big thank you once again for watching and you know this is why I'm gonna end today's video on this project. So hopefully tomorrow or maybe sometime in the week we'll come back to continue. Thank you so much. Peace.